Behind me, I got the 94 Saturn. We're gonna do we're gonna do some road rash repair on the wheels. I'm gonna pull the wheels off. I've already done one. I'm gonna strip it down, clean it, sand it. We're gonna repaint it, refinish it, and I'm bringing it over here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, pretty much what we got here. This is what they pretty much look like. Um, it's got a lot of road miles on it, and I polished this one up, and I've repainted it, and I taped off the lug nuts, and cleaned up all the tire. So we're gonna get this wheel to look like this one. Come back here and look at the back. It's uh, it's a little better, but it's got a lot of grime and build up on it as well. And you can see that the cap doesn't really match the wheel. Bring you back over here, the one I've already done. I've refinished the cap and the wheel together. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, our first step, we're gonna to need to take off these wheel weights. And I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. They actually have a tool that you can buy to remove these. But since we're repainting them, I'm just gonna use this. Two, we're just going to take our degreaser. We're going to spray one spoke at a time. We have a red Scotch Bright pad, and all we're going to do is we're just going to clean the surface. We want to get as much of the dirt off as we can. We're just going to kind of go through and clean the whole wheel up. And we'll come back in a few minutes after we've cleaned it all up, and I'll show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got it all sanded down, it's pretty clean. You want to hit it with some air, some compressed air. See all that water that's came out of there? You want to make sure you get all the water out before you go and put any primer down. Okay, now we just want to dry it off. We grab ourselves a little microfiber towel, dry it down, make sure there's no water. And I'm going to show you right here is where these weights were, okay? And I specifically damaged it so that I could show you how we repair that. And you can see there's some road rash on here as well. So we're going to come through and we're going to fix this. And I'm going to take some mud and put over here. So I'm going to just kind of apply it in here and I'll show you how to fix that as well. Okay, now we're just going to mask this off. Just so we don't get mud all over the tire. We're just going to kind of go through and mask off this edge where we're going to be doing the repair. And then also, we want to mask where we don't want to be repairing, and we don't want Bondo and uh, the filler to get down inside these spokes, because we're just going to fill this edge and on here. So I'm going to take the tape and just tape that off so that we don't get any mud in this spot where it's going to be harder to sand it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and tape this up.
Okay, now that I got it taped off, I'm just gonna sand with some 150, just a light sand where I'm gonna actually be applying the body filler, okay? And I'm just gonna be fixing this road rash on this lip. And it's just a light, light sanding just to kind of take off the high spots. This isn't really as crucial as if you're doing it on an automotive finish. It's kind of an older wheel, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. So that if you want to repair your wheel, all you got to do is watch this video. So all we're going to do is just kind of lightly scuff that up. Right here is where I scuffed it trying to get the wheel weights off. And I did that on purpose so that you guys could see the process and how to clean this. Okay. And I'm just going to hit it with a little compressed air. I want to feel it, make sure my edges are nice and smooth. Okay. We're going to mix up some mud. Alright, since this is such a small area, I'm just going to use my hands. And I just mixed up some mud right here. Just mix it up real good. Now I mix it really, really hot because it's very, very cold outside. And I've got heat in my garage, but I just want to mix it up so it'll dry real fast. Okay, I usually use a spreader for this, but since it's such a small area, uh, it's not that crucial. Okay, so I'm just going to apply that in here like that. Apply that in there, and then I'm just going to kind of run across the edge of the wheel. Try to keep as much of your try to keep as much of it off the wheel as you can. Just only apply it on the road rash. You don't want any more sanding than you need. Okay. So it's going to be a real light coat. And I could probably do this with just one coat, just because it's not very bad. I have some other wheels that are a lot worse, but for the most part, this isn't too bad. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to bring it back, let it dry, come back and hit it with some 180, throw some primer down, and it'll be ready for some paint. All right, now that I've got the Bondo on there and it's dried, I let it sit for about a half hour. I'm just going to take some 150, break down the high, and I'm going to come back over with the 220. And then I'll put a little Scotch Brite pad on there and it'll be ready for paint. Throw some primer on there and be ready for paint. All right, now I'm just gonna spray these black, or these lug nuts, they're just plastic lug nuts. I'm just gonna spray them black. All right, now that I've got these uh, painted black, I'm just going to tape the nuts and then I'm going to paint the rest of this metallic silver to match the rim. So all you gotta do, connect those together and then just kind of tuck it down. And I'll do the same. All right, now that I've got that all cleaned off, I've took the old tape off. I'm just gonna take about four inches at a time and wrap it in a circle all the way around the tire. We do this to uh, overlap one with the other. Okay, then I'll go through the whole thing. Okay, now I'm just gonna spray some primer over where we just uh, repaired. Just a light coat. Okay, this is the paint we're going to be using. It's a Krylon Metallic, and it's a brilliant silver. Works really good for the wheels. We just put a couple coats of primer over here to kind of fill our mud work, 
Now we're just going to do a couple thin coats of the semi metallic. All right, she's all done. I'm just going to pull the tape off. As you can see, it come out really nice. Can't even see where the repair was. It was right up here. See? So we did a really good job. And that's what it's look like. So we'll pull it off, put it on the car, and uh, do a final look. Okay, so here's the uh, original one. You can see all the dirt inside there and how rotten it, uh, it is. Okay, I'm going to take you over to the one we just finished. And that's what we got. Nice and clean. Caps look good. They match. So, if you look at the uh, after and the before, it's a huge difference. So, anyway... There you go.